bets in this game are made in pennies. But everyone at the table is a big winner. That's because the 80 or so retirees at the Clark on Keller Lake facility in Grand Rapids, Michigan, were recently joined by several much younger residents. Three Western Michigan University graduate students are living in the retirement home as they complete their studies in the school's occupational therapy program. The 19-month experiment is part of a social and communication-based research project looking at the impact of isolation, loneliness, aging, and stereotypes. The goals are to break the stereotypes of both aging and the stereotypes that each generation could have of each other. 22-year-old Colette Chap says poker has been an icebreaker, and she's bonded with 87-year-old David Burkholder over cards. They're nice people, and I like enjoy circulating a little bit and getting to know people. After just six months, the generation gap here has narrowed to almost nothing. These people are, they're not just my neighbors, like they're my friends, they're my family now, and it took time. It was hard at first, but I think the point that we've already gotten to is just so exciting. Violinist Tiffany Tew was part of a similar program while studying at the Cleveland Institute of Music in Ohio. While not part of academic research, the intergenerational partnership had the same goals and results. For me, it was something that was an opportunity to use music to be part of a community and to have a really interesting living experience. And to make friends such as with 81-year-old retired art dealer, Laura Barrick. Here I came to Judson Manor, where there were young adults, and life sparkled. Thank you for the lovely lunch. Mm -hmm. Faith Lapidus, VOA News. Have a good day. Thank you.